find cos 480. To find this, we should follow this method C. Here we have 480. Now you should check. 480 lies between which two multiples of 180? What I mean is, 480 lies between 360 and 540. This is 180 into 2 and this is 180 into 3. Between these two numbers, 480 lies. Next, 480 is close to which number? This is close to 540. So, 480 now should be written as 540 minus 60. So, this will become cos. In place of this, we write this. 540 minus 60. This is your step 1. Next. Cos. In place of 540, now we write 3 into 180 minus 60. Next, here we have 180. So, cos is not going to change, it will remain cos. And inside, we get this angle 60. Now, the question is, will we get here plus or minus? To answer that, we should look at the number before 180. That is 3. And 3 is odd. And all the odd multiples of 180, they lie in either in the second or in the third quadrant. So now to select the quadrant, we should look at this symbol. Here we have negative. That means angle lies in the second quadrant. And in the second quadrant, cos is negative. So we should put negative. So negative cos 60 is 1 by 2. This is our answer.